I mean, it's obviously exciting. I mean, you know, the excitement just continues to build. You get back in January, you always feel like, okay, baseball season's right around the corner. It's a different feel. Then you start team practice, and you're like, holy cow, like, the season's right here, and, and, and just the excitement just continues to build. And it's like we're all sick of playing each other. Uh, inner squads just can only do so much, and now we're ready to see somebody different across the dugout. We're really excited. I mean, just coming in, uh, we've been scrimmaging here versus our own team, and, uh, I mean, now it's been getting a little bit monotonous these past few you want to get out, play versus other teams, and uh, so we're really excited to get out there this week. You know, you wake up, first game day of the year, you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning and you can't go back to sleep, show up to the field as early as you possibly can, and just really mentally start to lock it in because uh, it's it's go time. It's, it's time to grind it out for the next four or five months. So uh, I'm really excited for it. We just got to take care of the first game. You know, our football team is always saying go 1-0, and that's been kind of our mindset. Um, you, you have a faceless opponent, it doesn't matter who you play, every, every game matters. Um, so we're going to come out here and take it one pitch at a time. We're really excited to get going though. And they'll get going with 17 new faces, many who will add depth on the mound. Grant Schurman, um, grad transfer, left-handed pitcher, I mean, just has over 200 innings of Division one experience. And so, um, you know, as much as we knew that that was why we brought him in there, you forget sometimes um, how important that is and, and what you learn and just being as crafty as he is uh, really going to help our pitching staff. I mean, Zach Helsel, same thing. I mean, he's been to a Division one school at Liberty uh, and transferred to Miami Dade Community College and then to us. And so, again, just an older, more mature guy that uh, really understands who he is and what, what he does well. Um, that to be a, hu a huge part of our bullpen. Uh, Kyle Kemp, the same thing. I mean, a guy that was at Lipscomb and had a bunch of big innings, uh, pitched out of the pen, he started, but he usually pitched when it mattered the most. And so having that type of experience, which is what we lacked on the mound, um, him and Grant are going to bring some immediate uh, veteran leadership and, and just veteran moxie on the mound, and I think that's going to be a big thing. And same thing with Zach. With the 17 new personalities, it's the team chemistry that has seen the most growth in the offseason. You know, there's a lot of good teams out there, but um, not every team has, has good chemistry, and I think that's something that's going to set us apart is, is our chemistry on the field and off the field. You know, we're, we're a group of brothers, and, and it shows. It's something that last year I felt like we lacked a little bit, and, you know, towards the end of the year, you know, everybody's starting to wear down, so your chemistry's got to be good. Um, and I feel like we've, we've gelled a whole lot better. Um, you know, this all our, our practices so far, we've just been trying to learn how to close games. Last year, we felt like we had a lot of leads that we'd let slip away. I mean, you get the chance to compete. Anytime you compete, and even if it's, you know, Again, you got two teams in practice or three teams. It doesn't matter how we set it up. I mean, there's there's a competition level where guys start to talk trash to each other and you know and just try to push each other and and that just I think helps kind of breed that camaraderie and just that and they get to go in the locker room and laugh about it and have fun and everybody understands that it's just about trying to get better and 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 make this game enjoyable and whatnot and so it's exciting to see that in practice and then. Uh, but again, again, I I'm sick of watching practice. Like I'm ready for Sienna to show up and um, and get a chance to compete. And you know, for me, in practice, if we don't hit, I mean, if we hit, then I'm like, oh my gosh, we can't pitch. And when we're pitching really well, I'm like, oh my gosh, we can't hit. And so there's, you really don't understand the gauge of where we're at. Or our pitchers really good, and our hitters are just facing good pitching and all that, and it goes through. And so taking half of that off my plate and just saying, all right, like, man, a win's a win. At practice, it's like one team wins and. I'm still still doubting, you know what I mean? And so playing somebody else, like the competition just raises and it's a lot more fun.